Hi, this is Rich and welcome to Wings, Wheels and Wires. And I have in my hand right here, something that every i3 owner wishes that they had, the ability to make my frunk waterproof. So let's install it and check it out right now. Now I've previously done a video about the different options you had for waterproof frunk. I'll put the link right over here. A couple different options were a waterproof bag, or a box from Ikea. I'll put the info right here because I had questions about that in my previous video. There's also a product by Five Spurs that looks really promising, but even after me doing that video, and I know I've submitted a lot of inquiries about it, they've yet to show any sign that they're actually going to start making it. So what I purchased was the Woke Bee option. It has some benefits and drawbacks. The benefits are that it probably allows you more space than the Five Spurs version, and it's more convenient operation because when you open your front, it actually opens with it, uh, but I think the other one would have looked cool with a separate sealing uh, element to itself. But let's go ahead and check out what's in the box. As we open up the box, the very first thing that I've really got to point out, which was kind of cool that they sent me, of course, I had to order this. It was about 100 bucks, and it was $60 shipping because it's coming all the way from Germany. So we included with it, I got a package of gold bears with it actually written in German, which I thought was pretty cool. Those are going to get eight, eight later. All right, and here is the actual unit itself. All right, here it is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up sealing it where it goes right here. And then when the front closes, it will seal it like this. And it'll be attached to that. So let's go ahead and walk through the installation procedures. All right, so the installation procedures for this are pretty simple. It's one sheet, front and back, uh, pretty simple. This actually promises to be one of my shortest videos if it's as simple as it makes it look. So the first thing we're going to need to do is clean up all of our installation services. The first thing is, of course, up here, this is where the Velcro attachment is going to install. And there's also a couple pieces where it looks like we're going to be putting gap fillers to make this a more even surface. Now, the neat thing about the installation for this and, and the five spurs, really, is that this is completely reversible. So there's no screws, drilling, anything like that. It's really just sticky tape and Velcro. Ready, go! All right, so let's go to our instructions. Step one is uh, clean, which we already did. Step two is to take the four little foamy attachments they have here and put them in the four corners underneath the fabric covers. So let's check that out. Okay, so what the instructions are telling us to do is one, remove the cover, and then we're going to stick the foam pieces here and here. And the idea is that when this pushes down, it'll make a nice seal. Um, we're assuming you've already cleaned here along with your other cleaning you did. Um, so I already put two on the other side while airplanes were flying overhead. Apparently every private pilot in San Diego decided to fly in the 15 minutes I'm shooting this video. All right. So we put on the two sides. You're put, supposed to put them on the sloping area. So there we go. And the idea is that when we put the fabric cover in, we put it nice and tight. These help form. A nice tight seal. Now, if I'm being honest, underneath here still seems like it would have uh, some moisture get through, but this is a lot better sealed than it would be if we didn't have these in here. So the next step the instructions call for is placing the front cover in position. So we're going to put it aligned with each of the edges, which it seems to align pretty well. Uh, it seems to have more curve than my front actually has, um, but Let's see, I think that's, this is probably going to be the more tricky part of it, because of course you want to set it in as ideal a spot as possible. All right, now the next step is to apply the Velcro fasteners. Uh, there are three sets, you're going to put them in a triangular pattern according to the instructions. Uh, they were all loose and misaligned and everything, so I'm putting them back together to where they're perfectly square with one another, because I'm OCD like that. All right, and then we're going to place them. You have two sets of ribs across your car here. So you're going to put two on the rear rib, uh, probably like here and here. Uh, and what we're doing here is uh, putting them a uh, complete unit. So you actually have the one side, the both sides are Velcroed together right now. And we're going to put them into position. And then after we have all three in position, let me get this third one. 
Is this called to be there? Because it almost looks like there's a fourth one. I wonder if we can get away with this one. Or if it has to be this one. Alright, so the directions are a little vague here because they tell you there are one, two, three, actually four ribs here. Uh, they only show three. So theoretically, it should be on this one. This one seems really skinny and really close to the uh, to this other set. So I'm going to actually try to put it here in this other one and see how that turns out. All right, then what you're going to do is on all three of these, you're going to make sure they're stuck really well, and then you're going to peel off the adhesive. And the idea is when we close this, the two sets of adhesive, the, I mean the adhesive on these is going to stick to our box, and then when we pick it up, it's going to pick up the box with it, and our installation will actually be complete. But let's see if it's that simple. Now for the moment of truth. Ta-da! Putting it in that third position uh, failed miserably, so I'm going to reposition that. If I can. Actually, I should be able to. I can just pull on, theoretically pull on the Velcro, put it back ideally in the right position. And let's see if I can move this. Yes, thankfully I can. All right, I'm going to put it where they told me to put it. So much for my brilliant idea, huh? All right, ready? One, two, three. Let's test it out again. All right, now we have a pretty firmly in place unit. I'm going to go ahead and push on it to, to try to make it stick as well as possible. And there we have our sealed funk. Now, of course, the most important piece, let's see how waterproof it is. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button down below. While you're down there, hitting the subscribe button would greatly support the channel. And, of course, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And stand by to the end of the video to hear my new subscriber shoutouts. All right. <laughs> Of course, this would be our Achilles heel. You're not likely to get too much water normally around this lip over here, especially not down here, it's below it. This lip around the headlight and the side is definitely a spot where you could, but the true Achilles heel, right here. We can spray water down into this, and if the front seal did not seal, we will absolutely have water in here. And the i3 owner knows that this is a great way to fill your front up with water. I've sprayed it all down, popped the frunk. Let's see what it looks like. Well, obviously I got some water come in when I opened this up. However, everything else in here is dry. I suppose what we can do is run, the, run this again, and I'm going to put a piece of paper in here and see if it gets wet. What I'm going to do is put a paper towel. Well, you already almost have a wet spot right there for me, I think. But we'll ignore that one. I'm going to go ahead and put my paper towel in here. And this will represent our thing. We don't want to get wet. Let's seal this and try spraying ourselves down again. Okay, once again, we're going to focus over here on the sides. This is a place where water can get in. I'm squirting water right into it. We'll go across the bottom, even though it's not likely to get into our trunk in that case. Go across this lip over here. And of course, Let's spray the crap out of the front lip. Come on. All right. We definitely would have soaked our frunk if it wasn't sealed right now. So let's check it out. Okay. Now I've released the frunk. Before we open it, though, something I noticed when we did this the first time was that water dripped from the front of the hood onto there. So it really kind of made it look like some water made it through, even though it didn't. So, now that we're dried off a little better, let me dry here. You might be able to see it's already dripping, so 
Of course, when I pass this over the frunk, it will drip into the frunk. But, um, actually, let's get you zoomed in here so you can see what I see. Okay, our paper towel here is 100% dry. Like I said, so this frunk, oh, now it's dripping, of course, as I pass it over it. But this frunk absolutely did do its job. You can see the water around the outside edge. So it definitely got hit on almost every angle we sprayed it from. But it definitely did the job. Now, as I'm inspecting it and wiping it down, one thing I see that I'm really not so fond of is, of course, this is all one piece of gasket and where the two ends meet isn't actually sealed. So this is actually a weak spot. What I'm probably going to do is take some shoe glue and put that in right here and join these together so it actually makes one continuous piece. So now it's official. I officially have an I3 with a weatherproof, waterproof frunk. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, interesting, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and share it with other i3 owners you know that could benefit from checking this out. Also, I want to thank Rogue for including their instructions in both English as well as German. Uh, the instructions aren't very long, but they're long enough that if I had to go to Google Translate to understand what it was saying every single time, it would have been a royal pain. So thanks, Rogue for including that. So, as promised, this video has been relatively short, as because, as it turns out, the installation on this frunk uh, sealing kit is really just that quick and simple. Um, it, removing it and reinstalling it in another vehicle seems like it would be uh, even just as simple. So that's pretty cool that you can uninstall this, make it look as if it was never here in just a couple minutes as well. Uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, stick around for the subscriber shout out. And here's another video YouTube thinks you're going to like. And now it's time for the subscriber shout outs. If you'd like your own shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and either make sure your name is visible or put in the comments down below that you subscribed. Paco Hernandez, Dan Preporu, Ante Karamatis.